Potential small business owners in Fredericton may face another obstacle besides a sluggish economy. The doctor shortage in Fredericton and the country can hit small businesses especially hard. The shortage may make Fredericton an undesirable city to move to. It can also take away valuable staff members if they are sick and can't be seen right away. Emily Brawley owns a franchise of Made You Blush, a makeup shop downtown. The store sells unique makeup products and employs professional makeup artists. Because their work is so specialized, Brawley says finding the right staff members can be hard enough. If one of them is sick, it puts a strain on the others working. So we are booked solid. We'll have a day, you know, where all three of us are booked the whole day long. And if one of them were to be sick, I'd have to call and cancel on these people. There'd be no, there's no like reserve of other makeup artists that could come in and do it. Brawley's not alone. Fredericton Chamber of Commerce President Andrew Steves is worried about the effect the doctor shortage will have on business in Fredericton. If there's a doctor shortage and you have current staff that are already here and they are struggling to find a doctor or their existing doctor re uh, retires or moves away, then all of a sudden they're thrown into the waiting list as well. Donnell Blanche is a student at St. Thomas University. She doesn't have a family doctor and has to rely on walk-in clinics whenever she needs to be seen. So it's hard, it's difficult, like you have to wait or you have to know someone who knows them that can like recommend you to them, so it's quite the process, so it's difficult. If the doctor shortage in Fredericton continues, it doesn't look like signs like these will be going away anytime soon. For Stu Journalism, I'm Alicia Bosch.